I mean, here in the piano shop in Bath, we've got three buildings, um, lots of space, lots of pianos on display, and a fantastic workshop facility as well with two full-time technicians. So Played and Remade has been born out of um, a trade problem that we've got in the UK, whereby we're recycling or asked to recycle circa two to eight pianos per week. Uh, so it's a lot of material coming through the business. So we've reflected on this for a couple of years. A lot of the old pianos, um, they were they were built for a mass market, but they um, they were the, the craftsmanship in those instruments and the materials used very special. You know, beautiful woods, uh, ornate cases. Uh, whereas modern manufacturers, black gloss and panels going through machines. So a lot of that waste, um, we felt it was a bit sad for it just to be recycled and taken to the the recycle centre where the, the waste is, uh, it's quite awkward waste to recycle because it's mixed waste. So they have to separate the wood from the metal. Um, so the, it's wood chipped and smelted. So all of that lost uh, material, we thought what an opportunity. Um, so we've gone out to artists, sculptural artists and fine artists um, to create beautiful artwork from uh, the waste material. And it is quite amazing what some of the artists have come up with. You've got some examples on display here. Uh, this is a bit of a trial exercise. Um, well, it's actually going live. We're going live from the 1st of May. So it goes live uh, online under uh, the identity of Played and Remade. So um, it's creating, uh, you know, beautiful pieces from the waste material and we'll also be presenting it in the showroom. So we've got quite a lot of wall space here, some floor space. So we don't want it too cluttered, but we would like to have or represent some fine pieces around the showroom space. Um, and it will be available for purchase online or in the showroom, yeah. And this could become a permanent thing? Uh, very much a permanent thing. Um, we're hoping to do um, a proper exhibition in uh, in the autumn where we'll invite the public and the artists to come in so the public can meet the artists and vice versa and the artists can talk about their pieces. So uh, watch this space because there will be a, you know, a kind of harder launch in, in the autumn. But we are live with it now and we're very committed to, to the initiative. Yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering how the artists have reacted to using these materials. What have, what have they said about yeah. creating pieces out of pianos? Well, <laughs> you know, we've been thinking about this initiative for a couple of years, so we've thought it through, we've thought it through. And it's all a bit of an unknown at this stage because we haven't actually launched this, you know, we're talking about this pre the 1st of May. Um, when we approach artists, we identify uh, relevant artists for the initiative not knowing how they're going to respond or react to it. So we've been using social media to contact them directly. Uh, we identify sculptural artists or fine artists that we'd like to work with. And the response has been very positive. They really uh, understand the value of the initiative and they like the challenge of working with material that they, they don't necessarily um, understand. Because when you look at a piano and you look at the casework, a lot of the material is hidden inside the instrument. So there's a piano action and there's a harp with strings, etc. So um, we weren't quite familiar with what they were going to uh, want from the material. There is a bit of a theme coming through now. They do like working with certain parts, etc. So um, the exciting element is when they come in, they meet us, they meet the team. Uh, we're a very creative team here as well. Um, we show them the material and we leave them in the space so they can just get familiar with the material. And then they send us a little shopping list of what they would like us to send to them. So uh, they make it from that material. Uh, it must be very exciting for you in the start uh, to await the result. I mean, have you been pleased by what they've come up with? Um, inspired is probably the best word. Uh, it's, it's, you know, being a bit of a creative as well. I just, I, you know, I'm very fond of this initiative um, and it's it's just wonderful the energy of uh, creating beautiful art pieces 
from waste material is just fantastic. And, you know, when we're working with each artist, we're not sure what they're going to create. So it's usually we see it, first of all, when it's delivered to us. Um, so it, it's, yeah, it's very special and it's very eclectic what is being made, very diverse. And we want to push a few boundaries around that, of what can be created from this, this uh, special material.